Don't shoot them. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Daily Heroic Story on Destiny, the Missionist Paradox. Today I have something very fascinating to show you guys, and that is a new secret area within BOG. There are three ghosts in, throughout the area. The first one is going to be in the first secret passageway you can take, which is going to be right off the side of the edge here. What you want to do is drop down and use your boost to pull yourself into the room. Just walk down until you get to this next passageway here. Walk up to your right, up the grassy hill here, and there should be your first memory fragment. So the Vex have predicted their own annihilation. When did they believe this would happen? Be wrong. Next, you're going to make your way down into the Templar as well. If you follow the pathway I show here, it'll take you there pretty easily. If you did VOG and took this pathway, then bravo for you. You already know your way through here. The next thing you have to do is fairly simple. Kill everything. The current quest objective is to destroy the Taken. So just destroy the Taken until you get audio from Eris and then you can continue on your mission. When you do get to there, don't jump into the way you would normally go down. Instead of go this back way, through up the, on the left side crouch to get through Imagine this mini doorway the and then drop down. You're going to want to run for this a little bit be before Guardian. you reach the location, but it'll be up on the I don't know why they're letting me speak now after so long, but if anyone is listening, I came into the vault with two others. Kabir was intense sometimes. And if you jump no up here does. on your right, you'll see a little pathway that you can I'm take. Just, a Just little follow further. this all the way down until you see that rock jutting up from your left. Circle around that rock and there's your second ghost. It will give you a Grimoire card and if you hit it in the right order, you'll get an audio clip. Unfortunately in this video, I cut that part out which the audio clip came on right after Gorgon's Labyrinth disappeared in the, on the bottom left. After that, you just want to jump on straight down all the way to the Gorgon's Labyrinth. Right now all you're doing is finishing the mission, at least killing the boss the rest of the way. You will not want to scan Kratos' corpse, you're going to leave that and just go a different direction entirely. In fact, after you kill him, you're going to want to turn around 180 degrees from where you're at and then head back into the door as if you were running yes, to go kill Aethium in the Vault of Glass. For the moment, anyway. I think that's it. They're closing the door. I left. Just remember, tell them. I left. Signal's gone, but I can pinpoint the source. Once you get into the jumping puzzle, without any platforms, you want to look up to your left and you'll see a door. You want to jump up to that door and go through this cave. On the other side of this cave, you'll see just a drop off. You want to look off that drop off and you will see a platform way down there. You need to use your boost sparingly, so you want to use it right before you hit so you take the least amount of damage. Titans might need to use it a little bit beforehand. Looking in that little door here, you see that there's a ghost hanging out right there. What well, was the once thought them. to be a chest a door room. No as soon as you and get yet, that ghost, then are. you should start seeing yeah, the platforms were. start spawning in front of you. 
these platforms will take you across the way all the way to the glowing portal that you can see in the distance right there. Once you get in through the portal, you Welcome will want to, to prepare yourself for battle. There, there are quite a few enemies. Future. I did skip over much of the fight for sake of time, but there will be enemies surrounding you. Invisible minotaurs, as well as plenty of goblins that will make enemies all immune, including the blighted descendant that you must face. Make sure to watch out for hobgoblins, and as soon as you have this entire area clear of enemies, you will get the Blighted Descendant to spawn in. Enslaved to a will they don't understand. A will long dead here. Dead eons ago. As far as I'm aware, there is no time limit to finish this. You do not need to kill any certain bosses beforehand. Um, the only thing that makes this boss any difficult is that goblins will constantly make him immune to your damage. Other than that, you can kill him before you kill off uh, the rest of the adds, if you can manage it. I here did skip a lot of the damage damaging process in this video for sake of time uh, but it took me about five minutes of this boss fight solo to complete him. After the boss is killed, all the enemies should despawn, just like that hob goblin did. The boss probably dropped you a reciprocal rune, and then after Praedith is done with his audio, the door behind the Blighted Descendant's spawn will open. And at the back of the room it opens to, there will be a chest, and in that chest you will find yourself a cult ghost and a legendary engram. The cult ghost can be turned into future war, war cult for reputation and grimoire card. And I am not sure what the ghost does other than being able to turn it into future war cult. I haven't Another gotten that ghost. far. If you guys have any ideas, leave me a comment, like, and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Thanks for watching. You She's guys have a great day. They're marked with future war cult headers. I bet Lakshmi will want to see this.